the founders of our museum started the museum with their own collections, yes. And so over the course of many years, they had amassed a collection of primarily Native American art from the Southwest and the Southeast, southern part of the United States. And when they got up into the thousands, it was a little bit too much for their house. And so it's either build a bigger house or build a museum. In addition, there were artifacts being discovered all around the area. Construction of Broken Bow Lake and the dam unearthed many items of interest, and schools from around the region, from Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Texas, were conducting archaeological digs. However, those items always seemed to leave. The local people were not being able, weren't given the opportunity to appreciate the prehistory of this region, the early history of this region, because all the materials were being taken away. So uh, Mr. Heron, Quintus Heron, and his wife Mary decided that perhaps Idabel, this was a good time for Idabel to have a museum. We could uh, take advantage of all the archaeology that was going on, uh, where we would provide a place for these agencies to, you know, even temporarily store their materials here. The museum first opened its doors in 1975 and it's grown ever since in size and attendance. In 2019, the museum completed a 45,000 square foot expansion and renovation. That means more room to see Oklahoma State Dinosaur, Acrocanthosaurus atakensis. You can now see Acro in all his dino glory in his own new space. We now curate 35,000 objects. We are still acquiring objects at the rate of about 1,200 pieces a year now. We've gone from four or 500 a year to about 1,200 because of our enhanced reputation, because of the fact that we can take care of more things. Um, so the, uh, the sort of catalyst for this project initially was to build bigger and better storage. There are about 350 pieces on display at the museum at any given time. In the storage room here, there are 35,000. Now, it would take about 100 years to show each one of them. That's not going to happen, but the museum is working hard to ensure that you and I get to see the best ones they have. This gift from the Heron family has brought not only statewide, but worldwide attention to Southeast Oklahoma. In Idabel, Discovering Oklahoma, I'm Darren Brown.